a kingfisher. You see that, Prof? A rare sight. Yes, indeed. How's the mint case? Some days like these, it makes me glad I didn't pursue my career in vice. Vice? I thought you came from airport security. I didn't confine my talents to one arena, Taz. Vice attracted me early on for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons? But it wasn't a life for a grown man. Standing on street corners, looking for action. <laughs> Waving a handbag. A handbag? You mean you're dressed up as a woman? Bait. Said I had the legs for it. Well, don't say. Made me realise what women have to put up with. From us men? No. From pink toad stilettos. The underwired brazier. On. Soon. I was about to take a shower. I didn't even know you was coming in today. Neither did I. Would it have made any difference? I doubt it. Men think they can just strip off whenever they want. You wouldn't walk in here and find me taking my clothes off. And that's just one of the many complaints I have about working here. Shut up, Polly. Look, Marilyn, if you're still upset because you think I took your job... I don't think you took my job. I know you did. There was a permanent vacancy. I applied. So did I. Yeah, but you're a girl. So? So, I, for one, would welcome more women. Any time. With open arms. Ask him why he's wet. Why are you wet? It was nothing, honestly. He rescued a child from the river. And that's why we call him Hero. Did you? Yes. Uh, I was just out for my morning run and um, I saw him fall. So I dived in. I mean, anyone else would have done exactly the same thing. Molly wouldn't have. No would. If it wasn't too cold. Come on, bring your swimming trunks. Hang on, I'm meant to be on with Stan. Elvira phoned. Stan woke up with hiccups, so she slapped him on the back and it knocked a tooth out. So he's at the dentist? No, he was. The tooth hit the cat. So he's at the vet? No, he was, but then he got bit on the nose by a Yorkshire Terrier. So he's in casualty. Yes, so you're coming out with me. Oh, nice. Oh, come on. Oh, don't rush me. Give me a Claire's. Ah, uh, morning, Sarge. Uh, ring that girl we use when we're short stuffed. Uh, what's her name? Constable Gillian Munro. No, that's not it. Known as Marilyn. Uh, yeah, that's it. Get it down here. Here, sir. <laughs> Did I have a blackout? I'm prone to them. No. Prof rang me first thing. Oh, it's a nightmare. Jolly good. Carry on. Happy tea. Don't you just hate it when he says that? You did not tell me about this, Gloria. What letters? I'll move out when I'm ready and not before. Gloria! You don't want to be like me, Darwin. No, I don't. You're young. Yes, I am. But it's never too soon to think about the future. Find yourself a good woman. Preferably one that owns a pub. I've found myself a woman. She hasn't found me yet. You're not still mooning over that noisy girl, Madeline, are you? If you want a companion who will give you a hard time and will accompany you through the sunset years. Do I? 
Will Marilyn's sponge and press your uniform, knit you a balaclava, continually surprise you with the diversity of our relishes? I don't care about those things. I just want her to kiss me. A decent packed lunch lasts longer than a kiss. No, it doesn't, because you eat it. Don't be swayed by sloppiness, Darwin. Pete under the table, that's what counts. Home comforts. Two kinds of mustard. Morning, Darwin. Morning, Val. Looking very lovely today. Morning, Rosebud. Not when I'm on duty. Oh, sorry, Constable. Have you sung to him yet? Have I sung more? Haven't you told him? I don't want any fuss. It's his birthday today. Is it? Little love. That's the least of my worries. Oh, give us a kiss. <laughs> People are watching. Only Darwin. You might learn something. something I've never had in my life, you know. What? A brain cell. A book without pictures. Decent deodorant. Passion. So why did you and Brenda get married? Not that I'm remotely interested. She had a small bungalow. And that dazzled you, did it? At the time, it seemed important. My wife doesn't understand me. Oh, yes, she does. And so do I. A bit special today. Game pie and a nice bun with a candle in it. Mm -hmm. So don't tip it up. You've got no gherkins, love. <laughs> I think it was your refined taste that attracted me to you in the first place. So we're celebrating later. What is it to celebrate? Not bad for a man of his age, is he? How old is that exactly? He's 55 today. Are you sure of him? I know exactly how old he is. He's the same age as my third husband when he fell out of that hot air balloon. That's yeah. why he's so fed up. Well, it's not that old. Has he had a medical? We don't talk about things like that. Why would he have a medical? If you want to stay on after 55, you have to have a medical. Stay on? Oh. Yeah. You'd have said if it was a tie. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. You know what it's like. Oh. It was three months before he told me about his ex. Mm, Gloria. But you're still giving him a hard time. Mm. Well, she can back off now. Because if he's retiring, I've got my own plans for him. Mm. Come on, darling, let's get on. Right, old prof. See you, Val. Bye. See you tonight, then. Maybe you can stay a bit later. A little bit. Oh, I see. Jolly good. The day is not improving, I'm afraid. You'll never guess what Constable Travers has got up to now. Our hero dived into the river and rescued a child, apparently. What's wrong with him? Can he go for a stroll along the towpath without people dropping like flies all over the place? Another meddler would be walking lopsided. Sure. Yes, yes, we'll sort something out. Yes, I'm fine, Darwin. Yes, I'm warm enough. Goodbye, Darwin. Did you know it was Prof's birthday today? He's retiring. What? Well, he's kept it very quiet. I can't believe he's going. That's good news for you, though. Why? Well, another vacancy. Chance to get in with us lads. Sarge! Shh! Sorry, 
sorry. I've got one of my headaches. I've had it since Tuesday. Or was it Wednesday? No, oh, Wednesday I had the rash. Sarge. Why did I marry a nurse? How is Helen? Brisk. Rather callous. Sarge, look, I'm in the middle of a duty, Sarge. I need to get away. Oh, so do I. River Spay, maybe. Or the Shannon. So many fish. So little time. Listen, it's Prof's birthday. <laughs> well, I'm a bit short this month. Uh, you had. And Darwin says he's retiring. What? <laughs> Far too young. Barely learned to fish. No, not Darwin. Prof. Darwin seems to think, from what Prof said, that Prof is retiring. Today. Never. Well, that's what I thought. It seemed odd he hadn't mentioned it. Oh, Prof's got a few more years yet. I've got two, sadly. Prof's two years older than me. And he is due to retire. Good grief. Who's going to make out the rotor? Sarge. Would you? Well, of course. As long as I get his job. This is a sad day for me, Darwin. Yeah, I know that, Prof. But look on the bright side, you know. This is your chance to start a new life. Two blokes fighting. Look the other way, Darwin. No, oh, I can't. They're hurting each other. We'd better stop and sort it out. Are you mad? We've got five minutes to the end of the shift and I've got things to do. I don't have time for incidents. We have to respond. No, I'm getting Prof's job. Sarge just said. Let me give you a kiss to congratulate you. No. Isn't it brilliant? Uh, amidst all this unbridled merriment at your career advancement, I would like to inject a note of pathos. Now, Prof, the man who has drawn up the rotor, straightened all our pencils and allowed me to spend my lunch hours in the arms of the woman I love, with no more than a dozen snide remarks, is retiring. Now, are we going to mark his passing with nothing but cheers and indifference? Yes. We are the police. We have our duty to consider. You won't go on in this job, Darren, if you behave like that. My what? Over-eager and disobeying the commands of a senior officer. You're not a senior officer. You're just older. Just. Sudden age doesn't matter. All these years of experience count for nothing. My Auntie Ivy always says you have to earn respect. You do not just demand it because you're old. Old? You think I can't keep up with you, young Jesses? That's where you're wrong. Ow! The put the man! Then let go! No, you let go! Insubordination. Then we're gonna try something! Stop! Stop. Stop. Afternoon, gentlemen. What seems to be the trouble? Apart from your driving, you mean? You appear to be fighting. So do you. Well, can you tell me the reason? He's stolen my sheep. What's your excuse? Prof, suspected sheep rustling. You might want to be involved. That's all I need. I'm George Wilkinson, farm over beyond the gap. A number of my sheep have been disappearing, and here's where they've ended up. And this gentleman is? The thief. Where's your brand? Show me that. I do not brand my sheep. It's inhuman. So how do you know he's taken your sheep, Mr. Wilkinson? Because I've got photographs to prove it. But well, you photographed him stealing them? No. I've got photographs of my sheep. They're mostly informal snaps. I brought the latest album along with me. 
You photographed your sheep. Why? It's a good job I did. But doesn't one sheep look much like another? Does one person look like another? No, but we're not sheep. Do you think sheep all look the same to each other? I haven't stayed awake worrying about it. This is Sigourney. It's not her best side, but she's got quite high cheekbones, as you can see. Oh, yeah. She looks nice. Who's that one? Primrose. Bit high-spirited. <laughs> see her flashing eyes. Uh, got a bit of a sense of humour by the look of her. Oh, you spotted that. Now, Rita's the one I'm worried about. She's very shy. That's her peering out from behind that tree. She won't adapt well to being rustled. He thinks he can tell one sheep from another, and we're all expected to fall for it. It is bordering on the barmy, Mr. Wilkinson. Your colleague doesn't think so. My colleague's a great soft lump when it comes to animals and not to be trusted. Prof, take a look. I have better things to do than just a Miss Woolly Jumper of the Year. There she is. Rita, Rita, it's me. Look, look. <laughs> see, she knows me. Oh. It is obvious, Prof. Look at that high forehead. Now, let me see if I can pick Rita out. Now, don't tell me, don't tell me. Eeny, meeny. Yes. <laughs> Blimey, it is her! Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's Betty over there, am I right? Oh, spot on. I'd recognise that smile anywhere. Uh, <laughs> if I inadvertently sailed into the twilight zone... Now, look, that one there. Has she got Primrose's eyes, or is that just the light? Oh, George, I'm sorry, mate. I bought from this guy in good faith. OK, OK, no hard feelings. Now, I'll go back and ask for a refund on Monday. I'll take the Dobermans. Right, is everybody happy? Good. Goodbye. Come on, darling, I'm in a hurry. Actually, I took these photographs last spring, so I'm surprised you recognised Primrose. She's changed quite a bit since she had little Ambrose. That's Ambrose. They're playing with the bottle. Oh, oh. isn't he sweet? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that, then? Oh, now, she's rather special. That's Blossom. We nearly lost her. Lamb chops? No, no. She was very sickly when she was born. I had to feed her myself for weeks. She used to have to sleep in the bed for warmth. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She still pops under the duvet on a cold night. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Put that down. I've always wanted to do this. What sort of a husband is it who locks himself in the back bedroom with a tube of super glue? An ex-husband, that's what. It's a hobby. Gilbert has got a proper hobby, did I tell you? Breaking up marriages. <sighs> the rest of your stuff is on the pavement outside the flat. The new people are moving in tonight. You've no right to do this. I could arrest you. What for? Disturbing the police! Smiley face, bottle of champagne, very good for retirement, we thought. Congratulations. It's a boy. Well, it's all out at the garage. <sighs> It'll have to do. Let's all sign it. I think it's really sad that Prof's leaving. We'll miss him. Yeah. When we have to do the rotor. Uh, I'll 
be doing that from now on. And I shall be looking for some changes in the locker room arrangements. Mixed showers, I agree. Prof, it's been what, knowing you? It's not nice, is it? No. Quick, he's coming! From the oh, my oh, God. God. Everyone, hang out, Prof. Well, you're a fast worker. When I said stay a bit longer tonight, I was thinking more about a cup of coffee and a brandy. Not moving straight in. Now, a window of opportunity has opened and I don't intend to let the grass grow under my feet. I am exceptionally glad to hear it. Now, can we step outside for a minute? He's a jolly good fellow, oh, he's, he's a jolly good fellow, oh, he's a jolly good fellow. What's he done now? Oh. Sit down, Val. Do you think this pub runs itself? <coughs> oh. This is the first day in the rest of my life. <laughs> You've read that on one of my beer mats. Mock if you must, but you see before you a man dispossessed. I see before me my next husband. What? I've dreamt of this moment, you and me together behind the bar, cleaning the pipes, changing the barrels, forever. Prof! But no. We just wanted to give you this and Taz will say a few words on the sad occasion of your retirement. My what? We know you tried to sneak off, but we couldn't let you go without saying something. Could we, Taz? I'm just trying to fix this tap. Now. now. I'm not retiring. What? What? But, but, but you are. You've got to. Well, what's with all the worldly goods and the aeroplanes, then? It's Gloria she sold the flat. Divorce settlement. I only wanted a bed for the night. Well, maybe a couple of nights. All above board. One of the staff rooms. But you have to retire. It's compulsory. No, I don't. I've got another five years. I want your job. Sarge said I could have it. I've got a different contract from you lot. So? Retirement age 60, thank goodness. What, you mean you don't want to retire at 55? Of course I don't. But why? I don't have to. Well, that's great. <laughs> That's just great. You thought I was retiring. We did. Obviously. Well, that's why we organised a surprise party. Where? Well, this is it. This is my party. Yes. yes. So where's my present? Present. <clears throat> oh, hello, Mr. Wilkinson. Sir? Excuse me. Uh, a token of my appreciation. Mm. Thanks very much. Happy birthday, Prof, from all of us. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Don't tell me. It's Ambrose. <laughs> Rather pleasant light at this time of day, don't you think, Darwin? Prof. Very restful after last night's revelry. Prof. Ambrose is eating my hat. What? Ambrose, you're tampering with police property. If you want to grow up to be mutton, let go this minute.